I am so excited to be joined today by Los Angeles Fire Department Captain and Spokesperson, Checo Sechi. Thank you so much for being here, Checo. Oh, Natalia, thank you very much for having me. I want to know, what are some of the things that people think firefighters do, but really, what are all the things that they really do? So I think the number one thing, right, is they think that we go and put water on fire and put fires out, right? Right. Um, but the fire department actually uh, does many more things. Um, probably somewhere around 85% of our calls are medical emergencies. So we respond to everything from a heart attack, right, to strokes, traumatic injury at, on the job site, traffic collisions, right? So there are many, many things that we do and uh, we are continuously training, preparing for any of these emergencies. In Southern California, um, earthquakes. I was going to ask you, earthquakes recently, flash floods. Yes, so all of those things are, we don't improvise our response, right, because we want to provide the greatest opportunity for the person that we're rescuing to survive or to reduce and mitigate any injuries or permanent damage that might occur to them or their property. But at the same time, we also want to keep safe our firefighters. So again, when the firefighter shows up, there was a lot of work and preparation uh, behind the scenes before we show up to help the public. And it's really interesting because it sounds like, you know, obviously you can't really, like in the event of a, you know, natural disaster, there's only so much that you can, ground you can cover and things you can do. So I know that you also work with the community to give them the resources. What type of training do you provide for the general public? We have a CERT program, which is the uh, Community Emergency Response. And what they do is they go through a seven week course and they really dive more deeply into uh, what are things that someone can do in case of emergency. And many of these people, it's for their own education, but many will come back and become volunteers and help the fire department, right? In larger emergencies, like for example, you mentioned right now with the recent rain event, we had some of the CERT members that uh, helped out the fire department. What it does is a fire department responds, we um, mitigate the emergency quickly, and then CERT can stay and control that scene until more permanent help comes. It frees the fire department resources to go respond to another emergency. Thank you so much, Captain, for stopping by. Really pleasure. appreciate that.